All right. What is up, Facebook Live? 97 degrees out here in Reno at 6.30 at night. So want to talk about expireds, guys, because you are afraid to call them. And if you're not afraid to call them, then turn off this video because I don't want you to be my competition. All right, so let's get into the meat of the content here. Expired listings, they are discouraged. They're usually fed huge lines of bullshit by the real estate agent about why their property didn't sell. They're very negative. They have a they have an outlook about the real estate agents and the real estate market that is pretty much like doom and gloom. Nothing's gonna sell. My home sucks. The people didn't like the layout of my home. It wasn't in a good location. The price is too high. They have every excuse in the book. Why? Because most of the time the agent has made those excuses as to why the home didn't sell. So how do you get expireds when you're prospecting to want to talk to you on the phone and then get them to agree to an appointment? It's really simple. Give them hope. It's as simple as that. Now, I am not talking about the expired listing that is worth 500000 and listed their property for $600,000. you are going to go in there and say, oh, yeah, we can get it sold. No, that's bullshit. And we're not ever, ever going to bullshit anybody on the phone. It has to be legit. So what is legit? You get up in the morning, you check the expireds, and you see a property that looked pretty good in the price, pretty good in the condition for where it should have been, matching the buyer's expectations. You give the home seller a call, and typically, if they are motivated to sell, they're going to have a list of excuses why their home didn't sell. So what do you do? You turn that around with hope. So they're going to talk about all the negative features of their home. People said the backyard was too small. The kitchen wasn't updated. They don't want a two-story home. They're going to give you all the bullshit excuses. You start giving them hope with, well, let's talk about with what's right with your home. The price was right. You had 17 showings. You had an offer come in that fell out of escrow. Mr. and Mrs. Home Seller, this sounds like there was a missed opportunity because you had so many showings and you did have your home in escrow. So use all the positive aspects about the home. And typically what I like to help these home sellers with is an if then statement. Mr. and Mrs. Home Seller, if we could get your home into escrow in the next 30 days, would you still want to get your home sold? Would that be a problem for you if you could possibly move within the next 30 to 45 days? And they're going to come back with, well, yeah, but our home didn't sell, so there's no way that's going to happen. What are you going to do different? And then you can go in to all your other objection handlers. Now, this will, will not work on expireds if they have a condition. And condition is, well, we were selling our home, but we took it off the market because we're no longer going to move because I kept a job here in the Reno area or wherever you're at, and they're not going to move. Or our kids are going to graduate high school. We've determined this. We're not moving. This is someone who has some sort of motivation to move, but still doesn't think it's possible. And it's your job to provide all the positive aspects of the home. Talk about the neighborhood, the area, why people want to live there. Talk about why they wanted to live there in the first place, why they purchased that home and why somebody else is going to want to purchase that home. And then go in for an if then statement, test the water to see if they would be open to meeting with you and then go ahead and close for the appointment. Guys, expireds are easy. They're gonna have all these objections up front, but if you are the person who comes in with a positive attitude, you're giving off positive energy, and you give them the hope that their home can and deserves to be sold, you're gonna get an appointment or at least an opportunity to go look at the home and maybe list it later in the springtime because a lot of expireds come off the market and they're just not gonna sell like say we're going into winter right now, they're just not going to sell until April. It's a condition. It's a condition meaning they are not going to sell for a very specific reason that cannot be moved. Talk about uh, pricing expireds. A lot of expireds expire because I see this happen. They price their home really high to begin with. They play, they play the game with weak real estate agents who do not have the balls, the guts, whatever you want to call it, to help their seller price the home right. And then they do a bunch of price reductions. That listing goes stale. And eventually, it just comes off the market when it's actually priced appropriately. So a lot of expired listings that we've taken, 
we did not touch the price. In fact, I have a list of expireds where we've actually have raised the price back up, have remarketed the home, and have gotten offers for more than when they had it listed. And the sellers think that you're fucking magical, but that's not the truth. The truth was they did start too high for where the market's expectations were at that certain time, but they've actually lowered it down to an area where they would get offers, but the listing is stale and they've missed that opportunity just like a movie. When a movie comes out, its biggest weekend where it's going to gross the most money is when? Opening weekend. Second week is good, and then it tapers off. It's the same with the new listing on the market. You don't want to lose that valuable market time when the listing is exciting. So a lot of times, we take these listings that have popped off the market. You can rebrand, remarket, put the price back close to where it was. Sometimes you do a small price reduction. Sometimes you can raise the price a little bit. Sometimes you leave it exactly where it was. Boom. With new marketing, the home pops into escrow. You're the hero. Now, this doesn't work if the home is just way crazy overpriced. And so if you want to take those crazy overpriced listings, that's up to you. But this is for home sellers who are motivated to sell and just have a little bit of discouragement. Be the agent of positivity redirect, redirect their negative feelings towards real estate and towards the agent and towards the market and towards their house into something positive where it reminds them of why they purchased their home. You guys are going to be successful getting appointments with these expired listings. And if you use a smart and simple pricing strategy, which is typically what happens with expires, they list just too high at the beginning. They go stale after three or four months. You pop it back on close to the same price or you get a minor price reduction. You get it out there. You get them sold. You're the hero. Guys, go out there. Slay expired. They are a great source of business. If you're not calling expired, you're missing out on a huge opportunity.